Well, hello again. Uh, today is May 27th. We are in a new book, starting a new book. First Kings chapter one, verse one through chapter two, verse 46. And here we will read. Now King David was old, advanced in age, and they covered him with clothes, but he could not keep warm. So his servants said to him, let them seek a young virgin for my Lord, the king, and let her attend the king and become his nurse and let her life, and let her lie in your bosom that my Lord, the king may keep warm. So they searched for a beautiful girl throughout all the territory of Israel and found Ab Abishag, the Shunammite, and brought her to the king. The girl was very beautiful and she became the king's nurse and served him. But the king did not co cohabit, cohabit with her. Now, Aden, Adonijah, Adonijah, the son of Haggith, exalted himself, saying, I will be king. So he prepared for himself chariots and horsemen with 50 men to run before him. His father had never crossed him at any time by asking, why have you done so? And he was also a very handsome man, and he was born after Absalom. He had conferred with Joab, the son of Zerai, and with Abiathar, the priest, and following Adonijah, they helped him. But Zadok, the priest, Aben Abeniah, the son of Jehoadiah, Joada, Nathan, the prophet, Shimei, Shimei, Rei, and the mighty men who belonged to David were not with Adonijah. Adonijah sacrificed sheep and oxen and fatlings by the stone of Zoheleth, which is beside Enrogel, and he invited all his brothers, the king's sons, and all the men of Judah, the king's servants. But he did not invite Nathan the prophet, Benaniah the mighty men, and Solomon his brother. Then Nathan spoke to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, saying, Have you not heard that Adonijah, Jay, the son of Haggith, has become king, and David our Lord does not know it? So now come, please let me give you counsel and save your life and the life of your son Solomon. Go at once to King David and say to him, have you not, my lord, O king, sworn to your maidservant, saying, Surely Solomon, your son, shall be king after me, and he shall sit on my throne? Why then has Adonijah become king? Behold, while you are still there speaking with the king, I will come in after you and confirm your words. So Bathsheba went into the king in the bed in the bedroom. Now the king was very old, and Abishag the Shunammite was ministering to the king. Then Bathsheba bowed and prostrated herself before the king. And the king said, What do you wish? She said to him, My lord, you swore to your maidservant by the Lord your God, saying, Surely your son Solomon shall be king after me, and he shall sit on my throne. Now behold, Adonijah is king. And now, my lord, the king, you do not know it. He has sacrificed oxen and fatlings and sheep in abundance and has invited all the sons of the king of Abiathar, the priest, and Joab, the commander of the army, but he has not invited Solomon, your servant. As for you now, my lord the king, the eyes of all Israel are on you to tell them who shall sit on the throne of my lord the king after him. Otherwise, it will come out about as soon as my lord the king sleeps with his fathers, that I and my son Solomon will be considered offenders. Behold, while she was still speaking with the king, Nathan the prophet came in. They told the king, saying, Here is Nathan the prophet. And when he came in before the king, he prostrated himself before the king with his face to the ground. Then Nathan said, My lord the king, have you said Adonijah shall be king after, after me? And he shall sit on my throne, for he has gone down today 
and his sac has sacrificed oxen and fatlings and sheep in abundance and has invited all the king's sons and, and the commanders of the army and Abiathar the priest and behold they are eating and drinking before him and they say long live king Adonijah but me even me your servant and Zadok the priest and Benaniah the son of Jeho Jehoiada your son Solomon, he has not invited. Has this thing been done by my lord the king? And have you not shown to your servants who should sit on the throne of my lord the king after him? Then King David said, Call Bathsheba to me. And she came into the king's presence and stood before the king. The king vowed and said, As the Lord lives, who has redeemed my life from all distress, surely as I vow to you by the Lord, the God of Israel, saying, your son Solomon shall be king after me, and he shall sit on my throne in my place. I will indeed do so this day. Then Bathsheba bowed with her face to the ground and prostrated herself before the king and said, May my lord King David live forever. Then King David said, Call to me Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, and Benaniah the son of Jehoiada, and they came in to the king's presence. The king said to them, Take with you the servants of your Lord and have my son Solomon ride on my own mule and bring him down to Gihon. Let Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet anoint him there as king over Israel and blow the trumpet and say, Long live King Solomon. Then you shall come up after him and he shall come and sit on my throne and be king in my place for I am appointed him I have appointed him to be ruler over Israel and Judah. Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, answered the king and said, Amen. Thus my, may the Lord, the God of my Lord, the king, say, As the Lord has been with my Lord, the king, so may he be with Solomon and make his throne greater than the throne of my Lord, King David. So Zadok, the priest, Nathan, the prophet, Benaniah, ben the son of Jehoiada, the Cherethites and the Pelethites were, went down and had Solomon ride on King David's mule and brought him to Gaia. Zadok, the priest, then took the horn of oil from the tent and anointed Solomon. Then they blew the trumpet and all the people said, Long live King Solomon. All the people went up after him and the people were playing on flutes and rejoicing with great joy so that the earth shook at their noise. Now Adonijah and all the guests who were with him heard it as they finished eating. When Joab heard the sound of the trumpet, he said, why is the city making such an uproar? While he was still speaking, behold, Jonathan, the son of Abiathar, the priest came. Then Adonijah said, Come in, for you are a valiant man and bring good news. But, Adon but Jonathan replied to Adonijah, No, our Lord King David has made Solomon king. The king has also sent with him Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, Benaniah the son of Jehoiada, the Cherethites and the Pelethites, and they have made him ride on the king's mule. Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet have anointed him king in Gaia. And they have come up from from their rejoicing so that the city is in an uproar. This is the noise which you have heard. Besides, Solomon has even taken his seat on the throne of the kingdom. Moreover, the king's servants came to bless our Lord King David, saying, May your God make the name of Solomon better than your name and his throne greater than your throne. And the king bowed himself on the bed. The king has also said thus, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has granted one to sit on my throne today while my own eyes see it. Then all the guests of Adonijah were terrified and they arose and each went on his way. And Adonijah was afraid of Solomon and he arose, went and took hold of the horns of the altar. Now it was told Solomon, saying, Behold, Adonijah is afraid of King Solomon, for behold, he has taken hold of the horns of the altar, saying, let King Solomon swear to me today that he will not put his servant to death with the sword. Solomon said, 
If he is a worthy man, not one of his hairs will fall to the ground. But if wickedness is found in him, he will die. So King Solomon sent and they brought him down from the altar. And he came and prostrated himself before King Solomon. And Solomon said to him, go to your house. Chapter two, as David's time to die drew near, he charged Solomon, his son, saying, I am going the way of all the earth. Be strong, therefore, and show yourself a man. Keep the charge of the Lord your God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, his commandments, his ordinances and his testimonies, according to what is written in the law of Moses, that you may succeed in all that you do and wherever you turn so that the Lord may carry out his promise, which he spoke concerning me, saying, if your sons are careful in their way to walk before me in truth with all their heart and with all their soul, you shall not lack a man on the throne of Israel. Now you also know that what Joab the son of Zerai did to me, what he did to the two commanders of the armies of Israel, to Abner the son of Ner and to Amasa the son of Jether, whom he killed. He also shed the blood of war in peace. And he put the blood of war on his belt about his waist and on his sandals on his feet. So act according to your wisdom and do not let his gray hair go down to Sheol in peace. But show kindness to the sons of Barzillai, the Gileadite, and let them be among those who eat at your table. For they assisted me when I fled from Absalom, your brother. Behold. There is with you Shimei, the son of Gera, the Benjamite, and Behurim. Now it was he who cursed me with a violent curse on the day I went to Mahanaim. But when he came down to me at the Jordan, I swore to him by the Lord, saying, I will not put you to death with the sword. Now, therefore, do not let him go unpunished, for you are a wise man. And you will know what you ought to do to him. And you will bring his gray hair down to Sheol with blood. Then David slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David. The days that David reigned over Israel were 40 years. Seven years he reigned in Hebron and 30 years he reigned in Jerusalem. And Solomon sat on the throne of David his father and his kingdom was firmly established. Now Adonijah the son of Haggith, came to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, and she said, Do you come peacefully? And he said, Peacefully. Then he said, I have something to say to you. And she said, Speak. So he said, You know that the kingdom was mine and that all Israel expected me to be king. However, the kingdom has turned about and become my brother's, for it was his from the Lord. Now I am making one request to you, do not refuse me. And she said to him, speak. Then he said, please speak to Solomon, the king, for he will not refuse you that he may give me Abishag, the Shunammite as a wife. Bathsheba said, very well, I will speak to the king for you. So Bathsheba went to King Solomon to speak to him for Adonijah. And the king arose to meet her, bowed before her, and sat on his throne. Then he had a throne set for the king's mother, and she sat on his right. Then she said, I am making one small request of you. Do not refuse me. And the king said to her, Ask my mother, for I will not refuse you. So she said, Let Abishag the Shunammite be given to Adonijah, your brother, as a wife. King Solomon answered and said to his mother, And why are you asking Abishag the Shunammite for Adonijah. Ask for him also the kingdom, for he is my older brother, even for him, for Abiathar the priest, and for Joab the son of Zerari. Then King Solomon swore by the Lord, saying, May God do so to me, and more also, if Adonijah has not spoken this word against his own life. Now therefore, as the Lord lives, who has established me and set me on the throne of David, my father, and who has made me a house as he promised. Surely Adonijah shall be put to death today. Ouch. So King Solomon sent Benaniah, the son of Johadah, 
Ada and fell upon him so that he died. Then to Abiathar, the priest, the king said, go to Anatha to your own field for you deserve to die. But I will not put you to death at this time because you carried the ark of the Lord God before my father, David, and because you were afflicted in everything which my father was afflicted. So Solomon dismissed Abiathar from being priest to the Lord in order to fulfill the word of the Lord, which he had spoken concerning the house of Eli in Shiloh. Now the news came to Joab from, for Joab had followed Adonijah although he had not followed Absalom. And Joab fled to the tent of the Lord and took hold of the horns of the altar. It was told King Solomon that Joab had fled to the tent of the Lord, and behold, he is beside the altar. Then Solomon sent Benaniah, the son of Joab, Ada, saying, Go fall upon him. So Benaniah came to the tent of the Lord and said to him, Thus the king has said, Come out. But he said, No, for I will die here. And Benaniah brought the king word again, saying, Thus spoke Joab, and thus he answered me. The king said to him, Do as he has spoken, and fall upon him and bury him, that you may remove from him and from my father's house the blood which Joab shed without cause. The Lord will return his blood on his own head because he fell upon two men more righteous and better than he and killed them with the sword. While my father David did not know it, Abner, the son of Ner, commander of the army of Israel, and Amasa, the son of Jether, commander of the army of Judah, so shall their blood return on the head of Joab and on the head of his descendants forever. But to David and his descendants and his house and his throne, may there be peace from the Lord forever. Then Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, went up and fell upon him and put him to death and he was buried at his own house in the wilderness. The king appointed Benaiah, the son of Je Jehoiada, over the army in his place. And the king appointed Zadok the priest in the place of Abiathar. Now the king sent and called Shimei and said to him, Build yourself a house in Jerusalem and live there, and do not go out from there to any place. For on the day you go out and cross over the brook Kidron, you will know for certain that you shall surely die. Your blood shall be on your own head. Shimei then said to the king, The word is good, as my lord the king has said, so your servant will do. So Shimei lived in Jerusalem many days. But it came about at the end of three years that, that, that two of the servants of Shimei ran away to Akshish, son of Maacah, king of Gath, and they told Shimei, saying, Behold, your servants are in Gath. Then Shimei arose and saddled his donkey and went to Gath to Akshish to look for his servants. And Shimei went and brought his servants from Gath. It was told Solomon that Shimei had gone from Jerusalem to Gath and had returned. So the king sent and called for Shimei and said to him, Did I not make you swear by the Lord? And solemnly warn you, saying, You will know for certain that on that day you depart and go anywhere, you shall surely die. And you said to me, The word which I have heard is good. Why then have you not kept the oath of the Lord and the command which I have laid upon you? The king also said to Shimei, You know all the evil which you acknowledge in your heart which you did to my father David. Therefore, the Lord shall return your evil on your own head. But King Solomon shall be blessed and the throne of David shall be established before the Lord forever. So the king commanded Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, and he went out and fell upon him so that he died. Thus the kingdom was established in the hands of Solomon. And then quickly on the Psalm 68, verses 11 through 14, it reads, The Lord gives the command, the woman who proclaim the good tidings are a great host. Kings of armies flee, they flee, and she who remains at home will divide the spoil. When you lie down among the sheepfold, you are like the wings of a dove covered with silver and its pinions and with glistening gold. With the Almighty scattered, the kings here, there. 
it was snowing in Zalman. And then quickly on the Proverbs 17, verse 7 through 9, it reads, Excellent speech is not fitting for a fool, much less is lying lips to a prince. A bride is a charm in the sight of its owner. Wherever he turns, he prospers. He who conceals a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates intimate friends. All right, that is the end of May 27th. Thank you. God bless. Hope to see you soon.